Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here for a what's in my diaper bag summer edition. All right, like I said you guys, we're here for a what's in my diaper bag summer edition and I figured I would take it back to one of my original places where I would um, record my videos. So like way back, like last winter, this is where I started my channel. I was sitting on my floor in my room and welcome back. Look, I even have like the Christmas sheets to match because Kaya peed the bed, so the sheets are being cleaned. We have the Christmas sheets on the bed right now. Okay guys, sorry I had to get rid of my gum because nothing more annoying than watching a video while somebody's like smacking gum in your face. But, like I said, with no further ado, we're here for a What's in My Diaper Bag Summer Edition video, and this is a good one guys. This video is jam-packed full of stuff because I always keep more things on me in the summertime versus in the winter time. And even though I had a newborn baby in the winter, I still have more things now, even though Riker is like five and a half months old. Speaking of Riker being five and a half months old, he just started solids or just started to um, have some like baby food um, incorporated into his diet. I will also be doing a really fun baby essentials video. So it's like a zero to six months, something along those lines um, or three to six months maybe to um, hone it in a little bit more for you guys. I did do a newborn essentials video for you and I also did a what's in my diaper bag video when I first had Riker. And I'll be sure that I have both of those linked up here for you guys. All right, so I have the um, new Miss Fong like diaper backpack style. So it looks like this. Um, and it is a tote style and um, in my other video I also have a Miss Fong diaper backpack. Um, this one is just the tote style so you can have this one go over your shoulder so there is like straps on here and this can go over your shoulder like so um, or else if you like to use um, like a crossbody it has a crossbody strap on it and this can be adjusted to however you like um, and then my personal favorite is the wearing it like a backpack i don't know why but i like to wear my diaper bags as a backpack at first like i had a really when i first had kaya i had like a really cute like leather god it was almost like a what are they called um the never Fulls by louis vuitton it was kind of like that style um because i didn't want it to look like a diaper bag but but guys, I have since learned my lesson and I know that this is the better way to go. I love my diaper backpack. Both of my diaper backpacks from Miss Fong, like I said, this is the tote style. Um, now, my favorite thing about these bags is they're just, they're super simple, they're super sleek, and they're super chic. Um, they, I just love the black with the gold. Um, it's just very classic. That has been in style since my mom was my age and having children so it never goes out of style but one of my other favorite things about these diaper backpacks these miss Wong diaper backpacks and diaper bags is there are so many compartments in them you guys like i said with kaya i didn't have an actual diaper bag i didn't know what i was missing until i had a breaker this is incredible plus i feel like diaper bags have come a long ways in the past four years um Anyways, let's get on into all of the goodies that I have in this. Seriously, it's chock full. This thing is chock full. So just to preface before I hop into the goodies, um, something that I like to do when I'm packing my summer diaper backpack or my summer edition diaper backpack is I think of all the things that we like to do during the summer. So we're at the lakes a lot. I live in Minnesota, so we're always at the lake. We're camping or we're going to the lake for the day. We're in the boat. And a lot of times we like to stop at Zorba's. Shout out to Zorba's, love Zorba's. Um, for those of you who do not know what Zorba's is, it's a pizza and Mexican restaurant within like Minnesota Lake region. Oh, it is so good. Anyway, so we do stop at restaurants and we stop at restaurants, bar and grills, etc. on the weekend a lot. And um, I need to make sure that I have things in here to entertain Kaya, which is always changing. I can't always have the same thing in here because she'll get bored of it and she's had enough of it. She's getting better at restaurants though, which is nice. Um, now that Riker has also started solid foods, he started to have some pureed baby food. He is a supported sitter. He's five and a half months old, just about. I've started to put more things into this bag for him that um, would like help with feeding him at restaurants and things like that. Also, side note guys, yes, I understand that I say bag really weird. I, I'm like trying to say bag. I'm trying to say bag, bag, 
That's how we say it in Minnesota. It's a bag. It's a bag. I used to say bag, and then here I got made fun of, and now I say bag. Bag? Ba bag? Bag? I don't know, guys. Whatever. Anyway, so yes, make fun of my Minnesota accent. I know it's coming. Let's leave it at that. All right. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to hop into the bag. Okay, so this is going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you, I'm sure. Um, I feel like it's fairly organized, but um, in the front there are these two very deep, long pockets. Um, like I said, let's uh, find out. Okay, so there's nothing in this one right here. These are my easy, quick access pockets so that if I need something immediately, like things like a passy or... Um, sometimes I'll put like little toys, things like that, just things that I need like quick access to. I'll keep in these front pockets. Um, okay. So in this, in this front pocket, I have, oh, my glasses because I'm blind as a bat. So I've got my glasses in there. Okay. My sister's texting me. And then I also keep, uh, the mom essentials in here. Um, I've got color wonder markers. Um, when we are at restaurants, these are a saving grace for us, also on road trips, or when we're like leaving to go to the lake, and then we also, when we go camping, like it'll take us a couple hours to like get to the campgrounds that we're going to with our camper that we have. So in addition to this, I have, so that's just in my front pocket here. Um, I have in the back, there is a, I'll show you. So there's like a little clipped pocket, it's like a magnetic clip got Kai in the background um there this is the pocket where I keep her color wonder coloring books also where I keep her iPad but her iPad is actually at grandma and grandpa's right now because she had a sleepover there on Friday and we forgot it there so um that's where that is but yeah so super awesome like quick easy pockets like I said you guys this bag is not lacking in its pockets so there is one more pocket in the front. So I showed you these two, and these are my quick access pockets. This is another quick access pocket. Inside here, I like to keep all of my personal things um, that I you know, need on a typical daily basis. Um, I've got my gum in here. This is my favorite kind. Um, I have a bunch of lip products. Um, so if mama just needs to jazz up real quick, which I have nothing on my lips right now, you're welcome. It is a sweltering hot, 95 degree, super humid day in Minnesota. And I only put makeup on for this video. Before that, I was like drenched in sweat outside. So like I said, so these are my favorite um, like liquid lipsticks. Um, they're like essentially the same color, just a little bit different. Um, this one is an Estee Lauder and is the color Naked Ambition. And this is Ofra in the color Mocha. And then I just have the Coconut and Pear Chapstick right here. Um, I have hand sanitizer that's quick, easy access, almost gone. Don't worry, guys. I'll show you that I have much more here in a second. Um, I always keep a pen. This is my favorite color pen right now, um, and I really like the Papermate Flare. I'm very much so a pen person, and I'm a planner person. If you guys want me to get into, like, bullet, like, journaling and planning, I just got into that. Leave me a comment down below. Super into my planners how I keep my chaotic life somewhat put together. I have my wallet in here, which um, this one just happens to match. It's black and gold, super simple and small. Um, I keep a comb in here because you guys, I have long, crazy hair and my hair gets frizzy really quick. Um, oh, I have one of these bad boys. Same thing I have on my wrist. These are the, oh, they're like the non-slip whatever. I can't remember the brand right now, but these are awesome ponytails. So I have one of those in there. I have a traditional ponytail in there just in case, because we all know that ponytails go missing into ponytail land. I like probably could fill an entire laundry basket full of ponytails that I've like gotten in my lifetime and lost. I don't know where they all go. I have a Burt's Bees. This is a lemon butter cuticle cream because I have awful nails. Oh, and then I've got, um, I've got a little um, charger end for my iPhone. I keep, no, the cord isn't in there because I actually keep the cord in my vehicle. Um, so I just put the end in there in case I'm going inside somewhere and I need to charge my phone really quick. 
All right, put all my stuff back in that bag. And so like I was saying, um, don't you worry, I have plenty of hand sanitizer. So in these side pockets here and here, um, these are actually like thermal ones. So there are like insulated ones, like so like the inside of like a soft cooler. I keep a water bottle like this, an aluminum water bottle in one side at all times because I drink water, I drink water like I'm a fish. Um, and on the other side, not yes. necessarily something that needs to stay cool, um, but I keep my hand sanitizer, a whole entire thing of it, right on the side because I am a crazy mom and I am a crazy mom. So, um, last thing I want to show you guys on the front of this bag is my, um, what are these called? These are for diapers, like little diaper garbage bags because um, blowouts happen and I need to get rid of the stink ASAP. So, I'm getting into the main pocket here. I just unzipped her for you. Um, I have Riker's like lightweight summer blanket. It's still nice and soft. He's very much so a snuggly baby and um, loves to heal. Like he'll go like this and he'll suck on his thumb because he's the sweetest, the cutest baby in the world. And he loves to suck his thumb. I've never had a thumb sucker before. Anyone, in, nobody in my family has been a thumb sucker. So this is a brand new thing to me and it's actually super sweet right now. But all right, so underneath that, so Riker, as you guys know in my other videos, I just told you that um, we switched over to formula when he was four months and weaned him from breastfeeding. And so now I keep a formula container in here. This is actually from Kaya, but why go buy new things when you already have them here, even if they're pink? Well, this does the job and each section will hold um, enough for one bottle's worth. So you can get up to, I believe, eight ounces of like eight ounces worth of formula, so like four scoops in each section. I keep a baba in here, and this goes up to eight ounces as well. This is the Komotomo brand bottle. We really love these. Um, yeah, they're pretty bomb. Also, okay, now that I've kind of gotten deep in here a little bit, I want to show you guys all the compartments in this bag. So look at, so like this one, there's just, there's so many, you guys, all the compartments got two side pockets here this big one inside and then there are two more insulated pockets on the side on the inside so four total insulated pockets insane blows my mind um, and then on the back there are two more side pockets so inside of one of the bigger zippered pockets on the inside I have um, a change of clothes for Riker because we are in that season where he is definitely going through diapers quickly with like the new foods and all the things and he chugs his babas like there's no tomorrow so the little guy can pee um, I've got just a couple onesies in here it's really hot right now in Minnesota the baby doesn't even need pants no pants for the baby, it is hot. I also have a bandana bib in here for him and then some oh, moccasin God. shoes. Okay guys, the battery died. I feel like a little bit more glowy. It's because I like speed vacuumed while the battery was charging. So anyways, yeah, I don't know where my backup charger went. I'm kind of peeped about that. Lost it when we were on vacation. So anyway, um, I just got through that one of the big zippered pockets now um, in one of the smaller like side pockets in here um, I just have butt paste right here this is our favorite diaper cream we don't use a ton of diaper cream um, but what we do use a lot of is hand sanitizer so even more hand sanitizer this stuff smells really good this is a spray hand sanitizer by the honest company um, this smells really good there's a grapefruit one which I personally think it smells like BO, but to each their own. Now going into the other side pocket, this is where I keep all of my food related things. So in this back zippered pocket, okay, so in this side pocket, this is where all the food related things are. I have a bib for Riker. So this is just one of the um, silicone bibs that you can get from Target. So this is the brand Cloud Island from Target. I love this print. Um, and then I also have a, in this like little pocket on here, I have a spoon and this is a Cloud Island spoon as well. And it has like a little stand so you can like set it down and then this part like the food this part where you put the food it doesn't touch the table i really 
Love this bib. So like I said, since he is just getting into more solids, I started to pack something so I could feed him. Um, and then the rest of the food stuff is for Kaya, so snacks. Um, I have uh, freeze-dried strawberries in here. And then um, I keep a bunch of these, they're kind of flat. <laughs> um, I keep a bunch of these like fruit and grain cereal bars. They're just like Nutri-Grain bars. Um, she loves the strawberry kind and she just stole the freeze-dried <laughs> strawberries. Kaya dressed herself today in some jammies. Okay, so I've got two more of those little side pockets. And in one, oh, I have no idea what's in here. Um, oh, a passy. That's good. We're running low on passies. So I've got a passy. And what else is in here? Oh, another bib and another pen. So you can never have enough bibs. And I always need pens, especially when I write out my daycare check each week. It's really the only thing I have left that I write checks for. But I feel like I'm always looking for a pen. Um, and then I also have another ponytail in here. The other compartment I have another little brain quest thing for Kaya so I just like to keep um, something like this in here for restaurants or for car trips so I can hand this back to her she really wants this right now okay so getting into the main portion of the diaper backpack I have I have a diaper changing pad um, it's super simple I think I've shown you guys this before it's just like a little bit padded but very simple you don't need anything super fancy this one matches the bag. I believe it came with it. Um, and then I have a little, I think this is a wet bag. And in here is where I keep the diapers and the wipes. Now in the case of an accident, what I will do is I will put um, Riker's clothes in this and then I'll take the diapers out, put them inside here and voila. Um, I just right now have the diapers and wipes in here. So, but in this way too, it keeps the stink out and it keeps the wetness in if you have wet, dirty clothes in there. And then I have a swimsuit in here because um, Kaya always needs a swimsuit. I have a really cute um, summer clothing haul coming for you guys in regards to a bunch of this stuff. Um, super excited actually because I have a matching swimsuit for Riker in this just wait you guys you're just gonna die it's so cute um and then the last couple things in here um i keep passies clipped on the inside so these passy clips i'll have most of this stuff linked down below for you guys um because i always get a lot of questions as to where i get everything so i'll make sure that i have everything linked down below for you including the backpack itself um and the Ultimate last thing is this little keychain. I like this because I always lose my keys and this is hooked. I just have to reach in and find this little leather thing and then I can hook my keys onto it. So, um, and then also in that main compartment next to my actual keys, I keep Riker's little keys because he is teething guys and he needs something to chew on all the time. All right, you guys, well, for a very packed diaper bag, I feel like I got through that pretty quickly. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I, again, I will have everything linked down below for you. If you have any more questions for me, pop it in the comments below. Be sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos in Day in the Lives or when we go camping, go to the lake, all the fun things. All right, and I will see you guys on Tuesday for another really fun video. Okay, bye, you guys.